Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. And today, today Jenny Young is gonna show you all how to make a jailhouse break. What is a jailhouse break? A lot of you might say. A jailhouse break, they don't call it jailhouse break, but I'm just letting you know, this is something that prisoners eat. They call it a break and I'm so excited to share with you all how this is made. Let me tell you the ingredients that you're gonna need. So, you're gonna need a trash bag. This is a clean trash bag. If you don't have a trash bag, you will need a bag that your cereal comes in, okay? Because, here's the thing, I'm gonna make this dish like they make it in the prisons. They don't have pots and pans, they don't have access to that, so when they mix their dish, they're gonna mix it in this trash bag or a cereal bag, all right? So then you're gonna need some bowls. We are gonna use pickles. If you don't wanna use pickles, you can use the, um, what are they called? The banana peppers, all right? We're gonna use some summer sausage. Summer sausage. And here's the thing, when you're making a break, possibilities are absolutely endless. You can use pepperoni. You can use lunch meat. You can use hard salami. You can use tuna. You could use kippers, okay? Things like that, all right? <clears throat> Doritos. You will need Doritos. You can use cheesy Cheetos if you want it. You're gonna need two packs of noodles, okay? This is the beef kind, and I have canned cheese, okay? The kind that you literally just pop the top off and squeeze the cheese. You will need canned chili. This chili has no beans. And honey. These are the ingredients that we're gonna use to make a break. Let's get started. I'm so excited to taste this, to give this a try. Now, so we think about people in prison. They either have um, plastic knives and spoons and things like that. I don't have any plastic knives here, so I do have some regular knives. But if they were to cut their meat like this summer sausage, you would use this. What is that, Gina? This is my ID. And they would use their inmate ID, cover it up with foil like I've done here, and cut into their meat, cut into their pickles, cut into whatever they need cut. Isn't that interesting? Those of you that don't know, my father was a correctional officer all of my life. He's retired now. My dad is, uh, let's see, in September, he'll be 69 years old, but my dad retired a couple years back. Um, in 72, he um, became a correctional officer. And I've heard so many stories. My dad has came home all of my life and told me so many stories. I've seen my dad, my dad go through, uh, what is it called? Self-defense classes and things like that. And he would come home when we were younger and my brothers, he would practice the moves with my brothers. <laughs> and it was the funnest thing to watch. And, um, but while I'm talking and telling you guys stories and things like that, we're gonna go ahead and get started making our break. So the first thing that we would do, let's go ahead and open up your summer sausage because what we're gonna do is we are going to chop this summer sausage up into pieces or you could slice it however you wanna do and they have access to microwaves. So we're gonna chop, let me answer my phone guys, hold on one second. Okay, wrong number. All right, so what they would do is they would chop up their meat and microwave the meat so that the meat can get nice and heated up. So we're gonna do just that. But I am curious how the ID would work. 
You wanna take the peel off of the summer sausage. And let's see if this ID works. I've covered it with foil so that it can be nice and sanitary. Let's see what we got, guys. Slice down into this bad boy. Let's see if it works. I'm so curious. My goodness. Look at there. It worked. <laughs> I guess if it works for them, it'll definitely work for me. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna chop just this one into the cute pieces. And it did work, see that there? <laughs> but then I'm gonna use my knife, but I wanna tell you how that works. Okay, so we're gonna heat up the meat. And then we're gonna open our can of chili and we're gonna heat that up as well. You wanna have a bowl of water heating up in the microwave so that you can heat your noodles up, okay? So I have some water that I've heated up in the microwave, and that's what we're gonna use to start our cooking process. But the, the way I got this idea to do this recipe um, was I, last night I was watching Locked Up and I found it so interesting. And I was watching the segment where they were cooking their food. And I thought, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that and have a great video. <laughs> so I'm so excited. I have my sausage here. It's chopped up into cubes. I'm just gonna throw this in the microwave and heat it up. Get it nice and hot. All right. See that? Sausage chopped up beautiful and then i'm going since i only have two um two noodles i'm going to use half of this chili sauce all right this is all stuff that they can buy and use for when they get hungry so we're going to use a half half a can of the chili sauce I'm gonna throw the chili sauce and the meat in the microwave to heat up. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. Our sausage and our chili is nice and heated up. I have my boiling water. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We have a bowl. We have a bowl. What we're gonna do, listen to me everybody, we're gonna take the noodles and you wanna kinda smash up the noodles into this bag that it's already in. Just kinda break them up, break them up real fine. Okay, when you break them up, you have more and you can share with others. All right, and then of course there's that infamous pack that's in there. You wanna take that out and we're gonna use that pack. Okay, so let's do it with the same thing. Break it down, baby. Okay, just like that. And then We wanna take some water, pour water in here so you noodle, the water that you've boiled in the microwave so that your noodles can get done. All right, so we're gonna do just that. Let me pour my noodles in, my water in. Okay, everybody, so I have water in the noodles. All right, we're just gonna set those aside so that they can cook. Now, remember we've heated up our sausage and our chili and it's just setting aside. I wanna take some pickles. Like I said, if you don't use the pickles, use um, banana peppers. We're gonna use pickles today. All right, I just took a handful, not too much. You wanna be able to taste them. Nicola, throw this away for me, please. 
Thank you. All right, let's top up our pickles, and I'm just gonna set the pickles in with my meat. I cannot wait for my dad to see this video. <laughs> He'll be so excited. <laughs> He'll be so excited to see what I came up with. <laughs> So we're gonna chop these pickles up just like so. I can remember when we were little, me and my sisters and my brothers, we went to the swimming pool, the neighborhood swimming pool, and on the way, coming back from the swimming pool, my sister, she got into a fight. And when we came home, we all told my dad, Dad, Sugar got in a fight, and the girl threw a chair at my sister. And my dad, he said, mm-mm, mm-mm. My dad went and bought us all bathrobes, and then he went out and bought boxing gloves. He did. <laughs> he went out and bought bathrobes for everybody, you know, with the string that you tie, and then um, boxing gloves. And he taught every single one of us how to box. You hear me? My dad was not playing. My dad was a straight up man. You hear me? And when he raised kids, he raised them to go this way, not this way. <laughs> Seriously. And he told us, he said, listen here, raising us, you know, he told us, he said, listen, if you ever, if you ever get picked up by the police and you go to jail, don't call me. Don't call me. And he meant what he said. And we said, yes, sir. <laughs> we did. We said, yes, sir. And that's how we raise our kids here. If you go to jail, if you've done something crazy out there, acting a the fool, you go to jail, don't call me. Uh-uh. You can't call me. <laughs> yes. And I'll tell you all something so funny. So... Um, when me and my husband were, were dating, one time we were, uh, what do you call it? Shadow boxing or, or just, you know, just playing around boxing. And I held my hands up and he had his hands like this. You ever seen somebody punch, you know, like punch, punch someone's hands while their hands are like this. I went to punch in his hands and he's like, ah, wow, man, girl, you got a punch on you. And I said, his name is Reggie. <laughs> and I'm talking about my dad, telling him my dad's name. <laughs> and I told him, I said, my dad, my dad told us how to fight when we was little kids. I said, Sugar got in a fight when we was little. My dad broke out the bathrobes and boxing gloves, and he showed us how to fight. My husband said, girl, you got a mean punch on you. <laughs> I said, my dad showed us. My dad showed us how to fight. My dad did not play, you hear me? Yes, absolutely. You all hear me talking about my dad so much. Honestly, I have the best dad in the world. Like, my dad is awesome. My dad is awesome. I have so many great childhood memories with my father. And you all will continue to hear even more stories. Um, because that's, that's the memories that I have. Great memories. I'm going to stir around the noodles. The noodles are doing just perfect. Here in a second, I'm going to drain the noodles and we're going to start to mix everything together. The noodles are not done just yet, but they're almost done. All right, there's that. I'm so excited to be able to try this. So my dad, he, um, when he would come home sometimes, he would tell us so many stories about things that happen at work. And he would get mind trigger games for the prisoners and things like that. And he would do pizza night and stuff like that. My dad worked at night. And the stories that he would come home and tell us was absolutely outrageous. And I used to just love to listen to the stories that my dad would come home and tell us. And sometimes my dad would um, also be the person that when someone at the prison, one of the prisoners had to go to the hospital or something, if they were sick, he would be the one that would take them, you know, to the hospital and things like that. But the stories were absolutely so interesting that, and, and when I found myself watching locked up last night, I couldn't 
do anything but think about my dad growing up and the stories that he would tell us about work and what happened, you know, last night and things like that. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so our noodles. Our noodles are done. I'm gonna drain the water. Give me a second to drain the water and then we're gonna mix everything together. We're not gonna mix it into a bowl. We're gonna mix it into this bag here. And when we mix it in the bag, or if you have a cereal bag, you know how cereal bags are kind of tough. They're much tougher than just a Ziploc bag. Um, when we mix it, we're gonna mix everything in, we're gonna put some cheese in, and we're gonna put our packets in, all right? And we're not gonna use a spoon, we're not gonna use a big spoon to mix it. We're gonna massage, yes, that's what I see. We're gonna massage um, all of the ingredients into our nice clean bag that we have here. So let me drain this water, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, so I've drained the water. We have our bag here. Now what we're gonna do, and I'm sure their trash bags aren't these huge bags that I have, but we're gonna make it work because I'm pretty sure they make it work. Absolutely. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pour our noodles that have been drained and I left a little bit of the water in here. Pour it right on into your bag. This right here is so interesting. And then check me out. We're gonna pour that chili right on in there. Pour your pickles and your summer sausage right on in there. All right? And then I have cheese sauce. Canned cheese sauce? I know, that's what I said. But let's give it a try before we knock it. Listen here, I am, I truly believe in, don't knock it until you, don't knock it until you try it. Don't you dare knock it until you try it. Well, we're gonna give it a try before we knock it. Here's the thing, if we don't like it, then we'll just say we don't like it. But not before we give it a try. That was cheese sauce. Let's put our packets in. Here's that. So, my dad, he was so funny. He was so funny growing up. He would tell me some things, and some things I really didn't understand what he meant. He, when he would tell me, basically, don't do anything I wouldn't do, he would tell me, he would say, don't, like, I'd be leaving out the door, and he'd say, don't pick up any wooden nickels. And I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> you know, and, and, um, I would just be thinking, okay, don't do anything dad wouldn't do. <laughs> That's what he meant by that. And my dad would tell me, I would have to walk to high school because high school was, it was fairly close to me, but it was far, far away enough, you know, to where my dad would worry. And he would say, and when you go to school, when you walk in the school, you walk on the other side of the street where the cars are coming towards you, not coming behind you. You don't want to be walking in the same direction the cars are coming. So if the cars are coming this way, you need to be walking on the other side of the street. And he told me, he said, you don't have a smile on your face. Don't have a smile on your face when you're walking down that street, right? And I'm be thinking, what? <laughs> right? You know, I like I didn't understand. You know, he wanted me to be safe and he didn't want anybody to pick up some little girl that looks you know happy and smiling so i would go to school <laughs> listen here guys i would go to school and i'd be walking to school like this and i'd have a look on my face you hear me if looks could kill everybody in them cars would be dead i didn't smile at nobody i didn't look up at any cars and i got to school safe every day <laughs> <laughs> every day okay so we got our pickles we got our summer sausage we have our seasoning we got cheese we got our noodles with a little bit of water in there and we have doritos and we have honey but the doritos and the honey are going to be used last all right so let's go ahead we're going to take this and we're gonna mix it around by hand in this manner. 
okay? Just like they would do. And like I said, what they do is they crack the noodles like that, like I did, you know how I kind of broke them up? So they can share it with others, you know, and they can have more and it can stretch. We're gonna try this. I am so excited to try this. Maybe you all will try it and let me know what you think. You've seen your own recipe, like I said. Listen here, you could use tuna. You can use jack mackerel. Use jack mackerel. Kippers, whatever you wanted to use, pepperoni. And I bet you that would be awesome as well. Listen here, with these noodles, noodles will fill you up. Noodles will fill you up. I could only imagine, what would you do? Would you be able to survive? Would you be able to survive in prison? Let me know in the comment section below. Would you be able to survive? You know, because they, they make it work. You know what I mean? They really do. They make it work. I mean, just something like this with the credit card, it did cut my meat. And it's genius. Really, it is. It's genius. Okay, so I feel like I have everything nice and well incorporated. It, sm it smells, guys, listen here. It smells amazing. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, okay, so I have my bowl. Now, let's pour it. I feel like I've mixed it up well. Let's pour it right into our bowl. Oh my word, and listen here. Two of those packets would feed at least mm, four to five people. My goodness, look at all this. Okay. Let me wipe my hands off. That tastes good. That little bit I just tasted. I have a fork. Let's imagine that this fork is a plastic fork because they can't have, they can't have that metal. Mm -mm. Nope, they can't have it. So now, they would either, I did see that they would put peanut butter. Listen guys, peanut butter? But listen here, out in the real world, you know how they make the soba noodles with the peanut butter and soy sauce? Um, sauce. When you think about it, that would be amazing. They will put peanut butter in their noodles or some honey. Let's drizzle a little, listen guys, let's drizzle a little bit of honey. Don't get crazy with the honey. You just want a little bit to taste, okay? They can make it work. And we're gonna take some of these Doritos. We're gonna crumple them right on top for a little bit of crunch. Almost looks like, or make you feel like you're eating a casserole of some sort. I can't wait to taste this. My goodness. All right, now let me wipe my hands here. If you all enjoyed this video, listen here, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time, every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Absolutely. All right, we're gonna give this a try. I'm gonna say a prayer over this jailhouse break. If y'all never had one of these before, you better make you one. Give it a try, give it a try. Don't knock anything until you try it. I'm not gonna knock this. I'm gonna eat this with an open mind and I'm gonna give you all my honest opinion of what I think of a jailhouse break. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful food. We thank you, Lord, for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. We thank you, Lord, for your blessings. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night, your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind. We love you, Jesus. We believe in you. We have faith in you. We thank you for the roof over our head, the food that you feed us daily, and the love that you give us daily. Amen.
let's dig in. Let's give this a try. My goodness. Ooh, I don't know what to think. My nerves are kind of like going crazy, but at the same time, this smells so good and my taste buds are kind of jumping all over the place. Okay, Gina, come on, go in this with an open mind. Open mind, Gina, open mind, open mind. Think of the people that cannot eat what you can eat. They don't have access to pots and pans. They have access to what they have access to. Can you do it? Let's give it a try. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Stop the music. Stop the music. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> I have to try this again. Wait, 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 just wait. I have to try this again. Wait. Mm. Mm. Hold on. Mm. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I'm so serious, my word. Listen here. What do I think? It's so interesting. It's so interesting. I love the pickles. I love the honey. I love the chili. The cheese is awesome. The crunch on the top. This right here is genius. Let me go in for another bite. Mmm. Possibilities are endless. Wow. Mmm. I'm going to bring this a little closer so you all can have a bite. And so you all can get a good view of what this looks like. So interesting. My goodness. Okay. Okay, everybody. Look at this. My goodness, look at this. So interesting. It's delicious. Go in and taste that and let me know what you think. Mmm. Mmm. very tasty i hope you all enjoyed this video make sure to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe click on that notification bell and as always god bless each and every one of you thank you all for watching have a great night i will take a few more bites this right here is genius This right here, my brain is doing this. My taste buds are jumping up and down. This is absolutely amazing. Mm. Have a great night. Good night.